The current state of Rakeda retardation is interesting. We're seeing a little bit of uh, a shift in the narrative, right? We're seeing Nick su suddenly out of nowhere try to pretend to take responsibility for his actions in the most lazy, half-assed way imaginable. You know, I saw Null, uh, the ultimate nose guard, going on uh, mad at the, his mad at the internet stream and trying to say, like, oh, look at Rakeda. He's, he's trying to change for the better. Look at this. He's addressing all these issues. Null is scum okay <laughs> like anyone who's actually been following the situation knows that Rakeda is just talking out of his ass trying to justify his actions and trying to get people from giving him so much heat like if Noel was actually being genuine and honest instead of the ultimate nose guard right he he would have acknowledged that but like Noel is uh you know desperately trying to protect Rakeda to protect his own interests similar to how like Rakeda used to pretend Ralph to protect his interests like it's the same thing and a big part of why you shouldn't take any of these people seriously right and like you know I know again I'm not criticizing like Kiwi Farms as a community because like Kiwi Farms is in a really done a complete 180 when it comes to, like, Nick coverage in general since, like, the whole Baldo, Baldo Gate thing. You know, I don't want to say, like, I respect Kiwi Farms because I really don't, but, like, I, I don't think there's any denying that, like, the community at large seems to understand there is an issue with Nick Ricada, like, a serious problem. And, like, Null has been, like, spending the past six months, like, doing his best to downplay it, trying to pretend it's not all that interesting compared to, like, other things that are happening right now. And it's just, it's just a complete joke. So, anyway... Uh, back on topic, like, Rikeda has been trying to, like, uh, deal with the issues he's been having with, like, the loss of income and, like, the viewer revolt and, like, the, the general problems with his streams, but... Uh, nobody really believes it, right? Like, and again, because we've seen this, well, we've seen this happen before. And uh, I, I thought it was now a really good time to to talk about, like, you know, a, a kind of personality flaw I've noticed with Rikeda. And I, I don't know if I, I've talked about this before openly. I, I, I've done so many Rikeda retardations; it's, it's impossible to keep track of like any of them. But like, what it comes down to really is Rikeda seems a hundred percent completely incapable of taking any responsibility. For anything. And this seems to be like an issue that goes back like his entire life for what we've seen, right? You know, we've seen him like make excuses for his like poor behavior on stream for years now. And, you know, his poor like management of legal cases and how he's talked about things and, and talked about people, how he's dealt with like, you know, his personal life decisions, how he deals with relationships with like his friends and family and stuff like that. Like this is an observable thing. Like this isn't me just making it up. It's like, it just seems to be the case in that like Nick is someone who absolutely despises having to be held accountable for anything he does, right? You know, if he's late for a stream, right? Like, he'll try and justify it. Like, he'll try to say, like, oh, I've been busy, but we know now that, like, this guy doesn't do anything. He doesn't practice law. Like, streaming is his entire career. Like, why are you expecting people to, like, sit for, like, 15, 20, 30, an hour for, like, and waiting for you to come on stream and talk about nothing for, like, four hours and then just go back to, like, your drinking and your drugs, right? And your degenerate, like, hedonistic, like, uh, swing resort thing, swinger resort thing, right? Like, why exactly are you constantly, like, whining about people having expectations for you, having, having like, any kind of, like, opinion, like, uh, that you should be held to a certain standard? Why are you so fixated on, like, doing whatever you want with no repercussions at all, right? Like, it, it just seems to me that this guy is in kind of a, an arrested development state where he just, you know, wants to be in college forever and that's kind of something he's addressed on stream a couple of times where he kind of talks about like oh man i i hate being i hate like not being in college i hate like having responsibilities i hate having a family i hate having to cover trials i hate having to you know run a youtube stream i hate having like these responsibilities i would rather just go and have fun like forever and like you know you know nobody ever told him that he couldn't have fun right you know if anything the audience was kind of encouraging it and was kind of like yeah uh you know you should do things you enjoy you should do things you care about the things you are passionate about but like it really is i think reach the point where like it's come across as if like it's an obsession like this behavior this obsession with having fun perpetually is self-destructive right and people 
who want the best for Nick have been addressing this and have been telling him that like you can't live your life this way, right? You can't live this life completely free of responsibilities entirely like you have to have a balance between like things you enjoy doing and things that you have to do to like you know for your own well-being and for those that you care about right but like nick doesn't want to hear it like he constantly comes up with excuses near constantly about like about how people are trying to keep him down or trying to like do this or do that or harass him or how they're like being really rude about like bringing this up to him. That's, that's what he said during that like stream I watched the other day, like live where he tries to say that like, Oh, I would have listened to you if you were nice about it. But here's the thing is that like, I've seen people address these problems. You know, I've seen people talk about like the latent gay thing. Like I've seen people talk about like, you know, uh, complaining about the cuckoldry, the OnlyFans obsession. Like, I myself were, was a fan talking about this stuff in 2019 and 2020, right? I I know what happened back then, all right? Because it happened to me. You completely ignored me and people like me in favor of becoming more and more degenerate, trying to push the envelope, trying to, like, get away from actually talking about anything that anybody actually wanted to talk about, right? Wanted you to talk about. You only wanted to do kuma live streams you only wanted to coom you only wanted to talk about degenerate stuff and like you know it reached the point where the audience became aware that like the Ricada law label was just like a bait and switch and so they jumped ship or alternatively became haters like myself right you, you know I, I don't know we really need to come up with a like a detractor term for the Ricada community i came up with like lawyers lol uh, lolers like a while back but like i don't i don't know if that's uh you know we're not law practicing attorneys so i don't i don't know if that's uh <laughs> If that works, but like, we need to brainstorm something, Kiwi Farms. We need to come up with something. Uh, but anyway, um, like I, like we were being perfectly reasonable about this. I think, like I think, you know, like any major YouTuber, like Ricardo went through that typical arc where he, you know, built up this massive following of people who liked what he was doing, and he tried deviating from that in order to suit his own interests, right? Like, instead of, like, really keeping what the audience wanted in mind. And as a result of that, he's just completely alienated everyone, right? You know, there, there are plenty of people who didn't like him to begin with, but now the people who loved him have become, like, his biggest critics and, and detractors. And he absolutely deserves everything bad that happens to him and not just because of the youtube stuff I, I do think we need to make this clear more often is that like ricada's problems are way deeper than simply like mismanaging a youtube channel right like it's way deeper than like you know his issues with his f family or like his job or whatever like it feels like he has a comp he has a real problem with like fundamentally who he is right it legit feels like he is unable to take any responsibility for anything and that is something that really is a sign of just like a completely depraved individual someone who just doesn't care for anything uh doesn't care about anyone like just wants to do whatever for the rest of time, you know, like it's just an incredibly selfish mindset and one that I, I really kind of despise seeing in other people. It's just, it's just something I just, I just really resent. Like, I, I mean, I, I think we see this a lot in like rich people who, who believe that like the law, like and rules don't really apply to them. Like how many, we saw those Titanic, like I've been following like the, uh, the, the, the Titanic sub story and seeing how these rich people like went down there with like a PlayStation wireless Bluetooth controller or some shit. And like, <laughs> it was just like, you know, they really thought they could do that. They really thought that would work and they would be fine. Cause like, Oh man, I have enough money to like pay for anything that could possibly go wrong. Right. Like I'm rich. Like what, what possibly is going to happen? It's, it, it's like that. It really does come off that way that, um, Nick thinks he has so much money that he can just do whatever, that he's a celebrity and he, that he can just do whatever. And that's really not true at all. Like real, the, the, the talented celebrities, the people that people actually like, you know, and respect and want to be like and admire, you know, people in like all sorts of fields and in, in education and technology and business and in, you know, literature and in filmmaking, like those guys are doing stuff near constantly, right? They're constantly raising the bar, doing something different, you know, innovating, tr coming up with new technology technology you know they love what they do they have respect for it they you know uh, they're 
they're innovators. They're people worthy of respect. And in a lot of ways, like, you know, Nick could have been that for this specific kind of legal coverage, right? You know, this kind of like a YouTube live stream, like super chat, like, uh, like, uh, well, funded just show right where you, they can just talk about anything without having to worry about sponsors or like a network telling them what to do or whatever like they had absolutely had an opportunity to make something great right you know i i saw people like saying that like Rakeda could have been the next joe rogan and i not only do i think that's true i think nick could have been bigger than joe rogan right joe rogan is a is scum okay like i cannot stand Joe Rogan. He is a shill for the establishment. Like, again, R- Rakeda, absolutely, if he had stayed at the course, could have been someone bigger than that, who could have, like, been someone who, like, tells it how it is and covers all these really controversial topics in this, like, you know, really, really great, like, YouTube show, right? He could have done that if he had actually put in the work and the time and the effort instead of just grifting as hard as possible and then piecing out the instant he thought he could get away with it. Like it was just a complete lack of responsibility, right? It, he just does not understand what normal people go through on a regular basis and has no respect for it. Right. He, he's never had to like struggle with anything in his life. And I think the, I think the signs of that are becoming clearer and clearer as we we see more and more of a pushback to what he's been doing these past couple of months. Like this is not going away, regardless of what, what Nell says. There will be no changes. Like he's going to just continue declining and decaying until like things get worse. Right? He is the Bojack Horseman of the, the law team community right now. He is never going to change.